it is Manchester United 3, West Ham 1. Manchester United bursting the bubbles, oh, crashing down the hammers. In fact, their hammer wasn't working. They thought they had four on their side, but you didn't have any four on your side. We have the Red Devil at the end of the day doing our thing. Manchester United, oh, let me tell you, be honest with you guys. We were shit. We were shit throughout the whole 70th minute. And I think it was a knock-on effect from last week's last week's effort against Barcelona and of course the Carabao Cup final Sunday these bad guys look laxy days ago they look tired as well a lot of changes were made but we were shit shit guys super shit at times you know what yeah I'm just glad we're through to the through to the next round we did well in the last 30 minutes as you can see Manchester United picked up the three goals in 13 minutes you know oh you know what? It's good to win when you're playing rubbish, you know. And that just shows signs of a very good team. In that first half, guys, because that first half was boring as hell, bro. I know you probably fell asleep at a couple of times. You probably nodded off like, <laughs> what's going on? But that was a terrible poor first half. And I know it's because of the changes. And to see Maguire and Magdalof at the back again, it put shivers to my spine. I was scared. I felt nervous and I could not. I can't rest when I properly and peacefully and my heart beats all over the place when I see those two at the back because, again, it, we was really exposed as well defensively, especially in the first half, you know. Mikel Antonio had a couple of chances as well. David De Gea said, well, if it wasn't for a poor finishing from Mikel Antonio, we'd have probably lost lost the game or even ended up drawing. And it was no no at half time, guys. And, and again, he, second off, he's thinking, ah, oh, surely there's gonna be some difference, make a difference. Casemiro came on coming off for McTominay, and then West Ham scored their goals. You know what? Yeah, Bundy's rest and Bundy VAR. The ball came off for a throw on. It was meant to be a throw on, but Manchester United played slept. You know, you don't stop playing until the fat lady sings. You know, and the fat lady never sang, bruv. As soon as the ball came off, and it was quite evident that the ball was off, but Vieira couldn't pick it up, and it wasn't really a mistake or anything like that. And, of course, like I said before, the defence of Manchester United and the players were sleeping. But good on West Ham. Benarama making it 1-0 for West Ham, scoring it, um, scoring well and taking advantage of the situation as West Ham continued to play. I was mad. I was furious. I was like, no, 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 no. Bring that back, ref. Bring that back. You can't be doing that. But yeah, ref didn't give a shit. He just said, play on. And then, of course, Casemiro equalized. But it was ruled off by Vieira. And then Casemiro was in the same situation that he was on Sunday, holding his hand to his face and, and, and everything, praying and hoping that this will go. But it wasn't a goal. No, it was chalked off. But guess what? Another set piece, an own goal again. An own goal from West Ham. This time a proper own goal. Not like the one that you took store on Sunday and they got... Credited to the player when it was meant to be a mock Rashford goal. This one was different. It came off the head of a West Ham player from a corner as well. Bruno Fernandes as well. And then Manchester United was back into this game. Making changes as well. Ten Hag seeing the situation in the last dying seconds. 94th minute injury time. Oh, stop waking up, Cho baby. You get me? Oh, that boy, man. Even though he played a quite a bag of bullshit. But in the second half, he was taking the game to West Ham. And of course, the ball coming off of Wegos. Wegos trying to take a, the opportunity as well. I, I can probably say another assist. And then falling rightly in the right path for Granacho to hit it in the top bins. You get me, bro? Star boy making it 2-1 one, one for Manchester United. And we was already going through because it was like literally the last kick of the game. But for Granacho scoring that goal, it added a couple of more minutes. And then guess what? Pasta Fresh. Pasta fresh, and I know it's Wednesday, and this guy usually does Bible studies, you know, or prayer meetings on a Wednesday or Thursday. But this guy turns up on a Wednesday and a Thursday, and again, Pastor Fred with a goal to seal the game 3 1 for Manchester United. Ah, good for us. Wasn't, but again, before, wasn't happy with the first half. But hey, if a team wins when they're playing, not playing well, signs, signs of potential champions. You get me, guys. You know, player wise today, guys, I thought Maguire, Magdalof was poor, you know, um, to concede those goals, as well, to concede that goal was very poor. They were sleeping as well. Well, a lot of players were sleeping, but I will blame it on them because they should have been awake to stop that. 
again, of course, Bruno was tired. Bruno's tired, man. I thought he did deserve the rest because during, towards the end of the match, he looked tired and shattered. And of course, Gonacho played well in the second half, but poor in the first half. And Weghorst done all right as well. In terms of that, man, the match today got to go to Gonacho for turning up in the second half, scoring the winner as well. You know, there was opportunity which he should have won penalties as well and free kicks, and he was give, bringing the game to West Ham. That's why I rate that guy, guys. Guys, you let me know. And of course, don't give the match has to go to Magdalof. And I think Magdalof, yeah, defense was poor. Defense was really poor, man. And, and, and McTominay was shit in the first half. He had to come off. So definitely got to be close to those four guys, but boy, this has been your man, man, I mean, your match reaction from your boy, Avor and Spice. You get me, you let me know who your man the matches, who your donkey of the matches, what's your thoughts in, of the game, all in the comments, guys, as always, guys. And we are back again, Liverpool, big game, watch along. Make sure you tune in for that, and make sure you tune in for the match reaction, guys. And make sure you watch the catch up on Instagram. As always, guys, this is again, remember to subscribe to Reggie United TV, smash that like button, press the notification bell so you can be the first one to watch anything that uploads on Reggie United TV YouTube channel. As always, guys, remember to keep it united. And remember to keep it Reggie United because your boy is out. Peace.